I do use a lot of texture and colour, strong colour. Um, I think the significance in that is to portray a sense of what you're feeling. Texture is about layers and I think the layers that we have in life, you know, um, at my age there's been a lot of living. I like to sort of come into my studio, turn the radio on, sometimes I sit quietly have a moment of reflection about the sort of thing I want to do and then basically once I start mixing those paints I just get in the zone and I'm away and I don't know where it's going to take me. The very first time I was feeling low and depressed was many years ago um, after the death of my father and we were living in the south and he was in the north and he had a massive heart attack and he died suddenly so we didn't have a chance to say goodbye and we were very close and I was living very much in an area where I felt alone anyway it was all new I had a baby um, I had two babies and it was difficult life seemed to be a real struggle every day from being very much an extrovert wanting to be out there with my makeup on. Everything changed after the death of my father. I think my relationship with art has really helped depression. Certainly after my twin sister died and I went to college a year after she died. Um, working through that pain and that grief in such a personal way but in such a way that wasn't obvious to other people. It's like you get up in the morning and you brush your teeth. It's just an automatic thing. I want to paint. I want to have a paintbrush on my hand, whether I'm painting walls or painting on canvas. When I smell the turpentine and the oil and the excitement that brings. Um, so it's helped me tremendously. And it's, it's just part of my life. It's what I do.